My name is Jeffrey Reed and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I now live here in Austin, Texas and I work here at the Texas Advanced Computing Center, better known as TAC, located at the University of Texas at Austin. I'm excited that you get this opportunity to learn more about our facility virtually. Enjoy and welcome to TAC. For 20 years, TAC has been designing, building, and operating a variety of advanced computing technologies, referred to as supercomputers, that have helped advance science across different disciplines spanning physics, astronomy, medicine, biology, and ecology. Two recent examples of scientific discovery powered by TAC systems are the first model of the complete COVID-19 virus that offers new ways to exploit its vulnerabilities, and the world's most detailed replica of tornadoes. TAC has resources all across the campus of UT, but today we're gonna take a look at the heart and soul of TAC, that being our data center here at the JJ Pickle Research Campus. TAC's first system was gifted from another supercomputing center back in 2001. This supercomputer was made by a company called Cray and came in 340th on a list of the world's fastest computers. We've come a long way since then. Today, TAC is home to Frontera, one of the fastest supercomputers in the world and the fastest computer for academic research. But we're more than just a big computer and fast processors. TAC is an entire computing ecosystem, meaning we have computing systems that provide scientists and researchers access to every tool they need to advance research that benefits communities and societies. Researchers that use TAC include college and university teachers and students who use supercomputers to make discoveries. Most of that ecosystem exists right here in this data center. TAC's main data center is 15,000 square feet, which is larger than three basketball courts. Touring the data center, one of the first things you'll notice is the noise. That's because all these giant computers create a lot of heat. And if they aren't cooled down, they'll stop working. We use a mix of circulated air, meaning lots and lots of fans, and liquid cooling to keep our systems from overheating. If you've ever heard your fan come on the computer and it starts spinning and getting louder and louder, that's basically what's happening here. The more you have tabs open or the more intense things that you do on your laptop, the processors start heating up. But here at TAC, it happens on a much bigger scale. Supercomputers are made up of nodes. You can think of a node as a single computer, like a laptop or a smartphone. The reason supercomputers are, well, super, is because it's like having a bunch of single computers or nodes clustered together, working as one. Frontera, for example, is made up of 8,008 nodes and each node contains more than one processor. Your laptop has between four and eight processors. Your smartphone has two to four. Frontera has almost 450,000 processors, making it approximately 56,000 times faster than the best laptops on the market. But joining together thousands of processors and nodes into one cluster is just the beginning of what supercomputing is all about. Scientific breakthroughs require a lot of data, and this data needs to be accessed quickly and stored safely. TAC has created solutions to be able to do just that. If you wanted to match the data storage of Corral with 64 gigabyte smartphones, for example, you need to buy around 625,000 of them, and that's just one of our storage solutions. You can't talk about data without talking about cloud services. You may have heard of storing and accessing data in the cloud like Google Drive, Dropbox, and iCloud to name a few. Cloud computing itself is a developing field, so TAC has entire systems dedicated to advancing this technology. Graphic processing units are commonly known as GPUs. At TAC, GPUs are used for research. Our ecosystem facilitates this kind of computing. Maverick 2, seen here, is an example of a system cooled by submerging the nodes in mineral oil that is safe for electricity. TAC's overall ecosystem is tied together by an internal network connecting all the systems that is several orders of magnitude faster than your average Wi-Fi home network. 
The motto at the University of Texas is, what starts here changes the world. And here at TAC, we are truly powering discoveries that benefit society and humanity in general. I'm happy that you had this opportunity to learn more about us here. Welcome to TAC.